This is Austin Duma, Application Specialist at CAD Micro Solutions, and today's tech tip is part one of a two-part series that describes how to link custom properties in SOLIDWORKS to a drawing's title block and how to manage custom property data inside a PDM vault. Many SOLIDWORKS users manually update information in a drawing's title block, which can be time-consuming and decrease productivity. I will demonstrate the advantages of maintaining title block information purely through custom properties. Custom properties can be accessed either through the File Properties icon above the SOLIDWORKS ribbon or through the File Menus property item. Custom properties can be used to manage information in part, assembly, or drawing files, and in the case of parts and assemblies, custom properties can be file specific or can be configuration based if using configurations. Furthermore, system variables can be used to automatically populate data. For example, a custom property housing a part's material can be linked to the material database in SOLIDWORKS. So, changing the material of a part automatically updates the custom property accordingly. Now, let's take a look at how these custom properties can be linked to a title block. Here we have a fairly simple drawing, and for my first example, I want to link a custom property in the drawing file itself, in this case, the approved by property. Instead of just updating the drawing itself, I want to update the title block template. This way, all the drawings using the same title block will be updated. To do so, I'm going to right mouse click on the drawing and select Edit Sheet Format. From here, I will now add a note from the annotation ribbon and place it on the drawing. From the note wizard that appears, I'm going to click the Link to Property button. To link to the drawing custom property, I simply leave the current document radio button active, and I show the property name pulldown to select the desired property to link to, in this case, approved by. Note that I can also link the note to several system variables such as file name and last saved by. Once the property is selected, I click OK, and I place the note in the desired location. The information from the custom property now appears in the note. If I click the note again, it will open up the note wizard where it can be adjusted accordingly, and a formatting ribbon also appears where you can also adjust items like font and size. For my second example, I want to link the note to a custom property from the part file being referenced, for example, the description property. I add a new note, and I select the Link to Property button. But this time, I will select the Model Found Here radio button, leave the pull down immediately below to read Drawing View Specified, and then use the property name pull down to select the desired property to link to, in this case, Description. As before, the information from the custom property appears in the note where I can then place the note and adjust it as required. Once you are done editing the title block, exit out of the sheet format. Finally, to save the sheet format for future use, I simply select Save Sheet Format from the File menu and save the resulting SLD DRT file into the designated templates location. In my final example, I'm going to update a blank drawing. In other words, the part file has not been referenced yet. And again, I'm going to try to link the description property from the part file. Just like before, and within the sheet format, I'm going to create a note and place it on the drawing. After selecting the Model Found Here option, note that none of the properties from the reference part file are appearing in the property name list. This is naturally because the part file hasn't been referenced yet. So, how do you link the custom property of a referenced file if it hasn't been referenced yet? This is where the Edit Text in Window function comes in handy. After creating the note, instead of clicking the Link to Property option, I am simply going to click the green check mark in the upper left hand corner. The next step for this alternate method, and this is important, is to right click the newly created note and then select Edit Text in Window. Do not select Edit Text. 
This brings up a window where I can manually create a link to a property. To link to a reference file custom property, I'm going to type dollar sign PRP sheet colon, and then in quotes, I'm going to type the name of the reference file property to being linked to. Using our previous example, this would be dollar sign PRP sheet colon, and then description in quotes. Once complete, then click OK, and the info typed appears in the title block. Let's try the same exercise, only this time we're going to link to a drawing custom property. To link to a drawing custom property, type dollar sign PRP colon instead of dollar sign PRP sheet colon, and then in the quotes type the name of the property. Again, using our previous example, this would be dollar sign PRP colon, and then approved by in quotes. Now, as I create a new drawing, I add a reference and update the drawing properties accordingly. The links that I have created using this last method are automatically populated within the custom property data. I hope that this has been an informative tech tip on how to link title block data to custom properties. Part 2 will discuss how the updating of custom properties and title blocks can be managed inside a PDM fault. Have a great designing day.